Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. <laughs> welcome to my channel, and that was your 2019. So thank you very much for everybody who has supported this channel. And as we close the new the year 2019, we'll be doing your 2020 prediction. How are you? I'm pretty sure everybody's waiting for their reading as continuously I do have a life, okay? And I do have a self-respect, so I do take some time off, okay? So that's what I have been doing, okay? So it is a chance for me as a Torinian to have some family time, okay? So that's where I'm at. Currently right now, there's camels outside over here. There's some donkeys out there. So I am in a journey. Hopefully you guys are doing the same thing, enjoying time with the family, all right? So let's see what's going on here. Let's see here. Let's start with the tarot over here. So it's gonna be a year prediction. So chances are uh, of the energies that I'd be picking up. It's very vast. It's very out of this world, okay? Because I'm not just focusing on the day itself. So there's gonna be everything, okay, and anything under the sun, all right? So here we go. Let's see what's going on with my Turinians. Here we go. How was 2019? Okay, let me ask this. Okay, so for 2019, okay, uh, it was a little bit challenging, okay? Um, of course, like, you know, Saturn transit in the 8th, you know, it's a little bit challenging, but now it's going to be moving to the uh, ninth. okay? So there might be some sort of uh, relief, some sort, okay, some sort. But there was a lot of changes uh, on your end, okay? Because it was in your 8th house, and that's what you were experiencing. Health issues was a main focus at the same time. Um, because that's the 8th house also, um, and it loves to stay in the 8th house with Saturn. However, it brings um, uh, changes, okay, you know, for the past two and a half years, you know, it's like sudden changes in life, feeling like you won't be able to survive it. Everybody goes through this, it just so happened that Venusian energy kind of does not like that, okay, because Venus is pleasure, right? And if you're a natural Saturnian, like Aqua Capricorn, life is a, you know, life is hell, basically, you know. <laughs> and, you know, it's like with the Venus people, Libra and Taurus, they kind of, it's hard to accept, okay, when things are not, you know, are kind of not into this pretty side. And Saturn is not the pretty side, okay. Okay, especially it sits on the 8th. So here we go. Let's see what's going on for the Taurus. But now it's moving to the ninth. okay. So let's see. You got here the world card. So Saturn was teaching us a lesson, definitely, right? Um, so Saturn is the slowest planet, okay? So it was endurance. You know, it could be patience that it was being taught to you um, with the world card. This is now feeling free, okay? Um, if you were married or if you are married, it's kind of, kind of partnership. There was a sense of control with finances. Um, you know, someone was trying to control holding back money from you or you're holding back. 
Um, it can be also business partnership, you know, that went uh, south basically. Um, you know, it's like all these things, all these things will be resolved. Um, if there was any kind of delay of uh, foreign travel, um, I'm seeing here that it is not the best time yet for foreign travel. I mean, like give it uh, um, 60 days if you are thinking of traveling. Uh, I'm seeing here that there will be a time for you to connect. Okay, now is the time where, um, you know, with this card, okay, to strengthen the faith with God. Okay, and I'm not a preacher or I'm not trying to, to ask you to become religious or spiritual. But by the end of the day, okay, um, all these things, which is the Maya, will not be resonating with us. And only, okay, our faith will save us. Okay, that's why they say faith healer, not Macy's healer, not Blooming Day's healer. No. It ain't, okay? It ain't Nordstorm healer. It is faith healer, okay? Because Saturn transiting in the ninth house, it's going to be bringing you closer to God. I like it. Uh. Under the world card is the Knave of Pentacles. So chances are, you know, it's like someone is going to be uh, messaging you, offering you, uh, you know, it's like, um, ah, is it you or is it them? I feel like you're going to be starting all over here with the Knave of Pentacles. It, well, because considering like, you know, major transformation has happened to you um, coming by January 27, as this transit um, develop, um, you will be ripped off everything that you feel that was holding you back. And that's what it's going to do. Um, anything that is attached to you, so it's going to be a new life um, ahead of you for 2020, all the way to 2024. Yes. Okay. That's what I'm seeing here. Um, with the Queen of Wands, uh, gaining back your confidence. Um, if you felt like, oh, I, you know, it's like, I don't know, I don't want to go out, da 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 da. I feel here like you are coming to power with your, um, how to say this, your um, the sexual side. Okay, so you're embracing this energy can be. Um, I'm sensing here, of course, it has been a dry spell. Saturn transiting the eighth house, you know, it's like intimacy was not a priority. It was more of the changes in uh, how to call this in life that was the priority that was just being t uh, taught to you. Okay, let me see here. Two of Pentacles, um, it shows like you are going to be very, very busy with your coins schedule. And um, you will be very, very booked with regards to uh, work. Um, so if you are a singer, actor, um, person who is on the theater, on the stage, because the Queen of Wands is here, you will be booking left and right. If you're an influencer, YouTuber, you will be booked like crazy. Okay, like crazy. You are also shining in this uh, career of yours. And you have your temperance, and now you have learned basically to balance your emotional side and your spiritual side, which shows here that you have healed, which is good. Um, after you have healed from a situation, um, it comes to, I, I'm hearing, restoration. So it can be um, reconciliation is going to be on the table. But remember, I told you, like, you are being, uh, you're being pushed to the spiritual side. No material uh, object can be taken after the eighth house. So anything is has to be removed. And that was, it was being taught to you. If you have lost your home, you have lost your job, you have lost everything, Saturn in the eighth house. It is about to rip people off. Okay, because it has to go towards spirituality. By the end of the day, only the temperance can save you. Okay, but I'm not saying like you will or you are, but I'm saying that that's a transformation. Everybody goes through that. As a Turinian myself, I went through that. I lost everything. I lose everything every day. Okay, but then you pray. You bend the knees. Okay, you pray. This is what Saturn is saying, uh, ninth house now. Okay, let's see here. I've lost two bakeries. I've lost, uh, what else? I've lost, uh, I don't know how many relationships. I've lost, but I've lost everything, but I gained everything. You see that? The vessel has to be empty, okay? So if you do not empty the vessel, you cannot get the blessing. And right now, all the blessing comes. That's what it is, okay? Release and let go and let God. That's what it is. And you got another world card on the world card. The load. Saturn was probably knocking at your door. Like, hello, I'm Saturn. What's your name? I'm Taurus. Uh, <laughs> and that's like, you guys had a very, very long conversation. Okay. Two world cards. There was a zodiac that got two, uh, what do you call that? Uh, two hangmen. You get two world cards. If you didn't go through a major life cycle right now in your life, I don't know who did. Okay. Oh my god. How 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 <laughs> how do you <laughs> I don't know how you survived this, Taurus. Okay. Um, but congratulations, you have survived it. Okay. 
All right. Okay. So, because um, someone could have survived health issues. Okay. I'm not laughing at health issues, but people go through it. It's karma. Okay. So we don't have to keep, you know, be sad and mourn about people's karma. Okay. It is what is coming already. So we just have to live it. Um, but it's showing here major changes. You have closed a chapter of your life. You're coming to a new life. That's good. That's good. Okay. Thinking of quitting a job for the past five years and still clinging on it? It's time to end it. Thinking that this is the most stable job, but it's only paycheck to paycheck? It's time to end it. This is about letting go. It is time to let go. Okay? So let me see here. Even in relationship, okay? Even to dreams. You have to let go. When it's not, it's not. Um, Name of Pentacles with the Queen of Cups. You are also becoming more in tune with your emotion and feelings with the matters of love. And, uh, you know, it's like you're becoming more of like a concerned energy. Um, chances are you like to stay home now. Um, you have learned that, uh, how to say this, um, you're the nurturer. You're, you know, it's like you're coming to a term where it's like you want to be nurtured at the same time. I'm seeing here. Uh, let me see here. Uh, I'm seeing here with the Queen of Cups, uh, there will be some sort of intuitive guidance that you need. So um, it's best time also for you guys to connect with an astrologer, okay? Uh, a preferred astrologer for you guys. Um, so that's going to be helpful for you. And of course, we pra I practice Vedic, okay? Um, and that's what uh, that's what I would suggest. As the Queen of Cups, I feel here, you will be consulting, okay? Um, two of Swords, what to do now with the newfound freedom? What to do? Um, well, takes things slow. Okay, that's one thing. Um, one step at a time with the Two of Swords. Don't be emotional because uh, I know that it was a very, very difficult time, two and a half years. And, you know, it's like it is coming to an end. That's good. Under the Two of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, uh, as you are overbooked with your career here. Um, chances are for you dating Seven of Wands, you will be limited, um, limited time. Um, and you really want to be exclusive with someone because you want to reconcile with someone. Yep, there is a devil card under the temperance. So there's someone that you really want. And we can always say, no, I don't want them. However, the card disagrees. Then it's not your reading. Because there's someone that you are so attached, obsessed, that you keep thinking, I want them. Can we be back together? That's a person that's going to come towards you. Okay, it can be a Capricorn or the temperance. Okay, I mean the Sag. So there will be um, an emotional tie that is going to be come, you know, coming back together. Two Saturnian cards, which is the... The Capricorn and the Aquarius energy here, it means that it was really a tough time. This was a Saturn lesson for you, whoever you were dealing with relationship romantically or soulmate-wise. However, what's good is once you've learned the lesson, it's time to fly. And it shows here that you are coming to an end of a difficult cycle, which is positive. All right? So I'm going to continue this reading. Taurus, I'm going to see this major cycle that you have ended for the 2019. And as you move forward for 2020 as a healed individual who has gained back their confidence with the Queen of Wands, who is now learning to value themselves, you know, and also like set, setting up boundaries with the Seven of Wands and becoming more intuitive. Thank you very much, Taurus, for watching. I'll see you again. Bye. Hi everyone, thank you very much for watching the video. The rest of the reading can be found at the link right here. And also there is going to be a suggested video right here for your zodiacs. Thank you very much for always watching and supporting this channel. Hit that like, that subscribe, and share this video. Always spread the wings, not the legs. Bye.